I do rely on the fucking nasty terrors though to survive, which it's gonna be a bit tough once I'm, I run out of, of acid bottles, but that's okay. Oh no, I used my acid terror on a plant. That fucking sucks. Oh, Zerg potion ran out. Very important, keep your Zerg potions up. Oh yeah, that's right. Crazy uproar. If it's just one enemy, I can handle them fine without acid bottles. But as soon as they start like, <laughs> you know, two enemies, I need to throw the acid bottle. <laughs> the acid bottle is kind of expensive. I actually haven't checked. Maybe they sell the, the ingredients on an NPC. If they do, that's going to be pretty sweet. But I don't think they would. I can farm the items, which is what I did. I found them on the pyramid as I was farming for white potions. But, you know, you do use a lot of them. Is the shining plant good? Why is it like. It gives a random herb. One damage to it. Every plant only takes one damage. So you have to kill it with like. Yeah, I have. Dude, I have seven Weatherless Roses on me How right now. How much do they sell for? 32,000 each. Like, no joke. I'm stacked. I need to go back to Proterra to get the buff though from the NPC. Oh, there's way too many of you now. This is gonna be a problem. I can't cast Acid Terror. Yeah, let me just walk back to Proterra. Too many enemies. <laughs> I'm not like you who can just like fucking kill the whole shit with one skill. Alright, let me sell this shit then. See how much money we're making. Dude, this place is amazing. No joke. I know there's also another good dungeon, it's the Magma Dungeon, but I think the Mag Magma Dungeon might be higher level. Probably not for you, but for me, because I'm not third class yet. Book stuff, uh, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't sell those, I would assume. Damn. Yellow herb, bitter herb, I should say. Oh my god, I, I, can, I can shoot them from outside their detection range? <laughs> They like don't even notice me, and when I attack them, I like. I've so read. They can't move. I've read some people say you shouldn't put points into the skill because that's a skill. For for like the the first class, the gunslinger that increases your range, but that skill doesn't affect the the skills as a rebel. Well, I'm not a gunslinger, so. Yeah, but you. I think I did put all my points in that, but I couldn't. I couldn't yeah. do anything uh, without. Yeah, I did increase it, but uh, like it, I needed to put points in the gunslinger anyhow because it wouldn't let me put points into a rebel until I did. So. I guess. Oh, I achieved one million zenny. I have. Here we go. What is this person doing? They're just like running through the woods. They've been running through the woods for like an hour. Like, what do you do with your day? Is this what you do? You just run through the woods in an old Korean MMO? <laughs> Like, hello? Do you have a life? What are you doing? Is there any point to that? The answer is no. <laughs> Maybe they're just waiting for a friend no. or something. All right, let me see here. Acerbot, I need immortal hearts. I know Ooh, I, uh, where to drop them. I, uh, I'm carrying too much stuff. Like, do you want like... the stuff that you want? Yeah, the herbs, yes. No, I don't want to talk to the Catherine employee. Fuck off. Request deal. I requested a deal. Did you get it? No, I did not. I requested a deal. Did you get it? I think we have to be closer. Do we have to be like right next to each other? Okay, I got that. Do you need white potions? Do you need yellow herbs? No, those you can throw away. I thought you were going to give me white potions. Okay, I can get you some. How many do you want? I don't know. Well, come get 50. Hold on, let me sell this shit. Alright. <laughs> now 
Now I need. Do you to... need poisonous poison herb, Am Amina? No, I don't think so. But I don't this know. is a skill necessity. Yeah, I, I assume those items are items that people would use. I don't know, to be honest. Item database vendors. I need to figure out if there's a way I can get the fucking immortal hearts easier. Immortal hearts. Mm, for sale, no. So I guess you just have to farm that. Let me see if anybody sells them. No, they don't. Acid bottle. We'll sell acid bottles. 15,000 each. That's way too much money. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Oh, hello, Lucy. How are you doing on this evening? Do you have any tips on how to deal with being far away from each other? Most of a long distance relationship. It's hard not being able to see each other in person. It is just hard. You just have to handle it, right? Like, the way I, I handle it with Dick is we just talk to each other a lot. I which can be a problem because sometimes you might not have that type of synergy with your with your significant order. Like if you can't Oh yeah, I need I need the item here. Just one second. I need the medicinal bowls. If you don't have the type of synergy where you can just talk with each other about like random stuff the whole day or whenever you want, which is understandable because that's pretty normal. Most people don't have that kind of synergy, I don't think. Which is why you see so many people who are in normal relationships. Once they go into long distance relationships, they they struggle a little bit because they they just don't know what to talk about with the with the significant other, and they they get into the situation where they get like very desperate, like they need to talk about. Because here's the thing: when I spend the day talking with Dick, hello Gaia, when I spend the day talking with Dick, we're not always talking about stuff sometimes you're just silent right that's part of it knowing how to enjoy being silent with your significant order that's very important so so that's one way of handling the distance is just talking a lot with each other or even if you're silent at least staying in a call with each other you know And doing things together. You can play games together like I'm playing with Dick right now. If he's not much of a gamer, you can figure out like something else that he might like to do. And you can do those things together. Wait, why was a... Oh, I Like, where are rockers at? Oh, they are on Prontera. You go to, to the left. Remember the path we used to do to go to Geffen? It's all yeah. that way. I wanna go get rockers so I can get rid of these taming items. Also, I have enough money for the AK, but not the one I want. I think if you have the eggs, you can exchange the eggs on the on the HQ for some stuff. I'm not entirely sure how, how that I think works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the uh, the other gun instead of the AK because it's cooler and it does more damage. Here's the thing. Also, here's the thing. The AK, I don't have cards. yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The AK is better if you have the cards. If you don't, the other one is clearly better because it deals more damage. But the at the end of the game, as you're like building your like full setup, I can just AK buy it later. Better. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can just buy it later. You should you should definitely buy the one that's just stronger. I do have some cards here with me though. I have a Minoros card, which increases attack on large monsters. That seems pretty good. And I have a card that gives maximum HP and SP for the feet. Like for shoes. That <laughs> like, seems really, really good. Let me put these items here. Why do I have like 48 mil? feet? Alright, let me identify these things, see if they're worth anything. Principles of magic, that might be good. Release of wish, I think it's garbage, because it has no slots. That's how the game works, equipment without slots. It's usually for beginners, mostly. Because you really get really, really strong once you get, like, actual... Actual cards to put on the equipment. So, like, the strongest equipment are actually not that strong. They just have a lot of slots. Like, there's a mace that, that um, geneticists use. 
which is like four slots. That's why people use it, because it's the mace itself, it's not that strong. All right, I'm back to the dungeon. Cool. You said I can sell rocker eggs? There's an NPC on HQ that he will trade eggs for, for like, medals, like HQ medals. And I was looking- Do I need to be a Limit RO member or whatever? Yeah, I think so. It costs a million bucks to do that. But you can like get tons of good stuff with that. So just save the eggs, put them on a the Kafra. You can put them on storage. And just take it later. You know how to how to use the Kafra storage, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should really summon my homunculus, huh? Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Yeah. Alright, this is a problem. <laughs> I really rely on the fucking acid terrors to survive here. The enemies are like really strong. My like default attack. Yeah, I'm running in into a little bit of trouble. Not gonna lie. Where are uh, Poporings at? There we go. They're, they're at the South City, right? Um, Poporings, they're kind of like everywhere, to be honest. But I, I don't remember specifically how to get to one of them. I can go to Grandma's thing. Hold on. Alright, give me one second here. That was something I needed to, to check, but I completely forgot now. That was something- oh yeah, the Homunculus. Can you like call the homunculus, please? I guess he's dead. There we go. That's a friend. Before this is a green one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a green one. My homunculus is neutral, so we're getting that. Once he gets to lawyer, I can actually level him up. I actually figured out like the homunculus actually deals decent damage. The problem is that the AI for the homunculus is like really garbage, so it's kind of really annoying to control him. But I don't know. I know when, when you get the, the max level homunculus, they give you a bonus, like a passive bonus, so I really want that. What? Hold up. Oh yeah, and pets give a passive bonus as well, you know that, right? Did I tell you that? Hey, you want to know a little secret? What? Do type in like this. Hold up. Are we in group chat? Uh... Yes, we are in the party. Select receiving group party. Type this in chat. Is oh. kill you? Type what? Oh, wait a second. Oh, storage. <laughs> really? Does that work? Stupid. That seems really good. Very useful. Though I don't really use storage because I have the cart, so I just use the cart instead. But you don't need to use the cart. Storage is free. Yeah, but I want to use the cart though because the heavier my cart oh, yeah. is, the higher damage it deals. So. Deverucci. That's fine. Ooh, Deverucci is a cool. They're, they're, they're strong enemies though, but I guess you're like level 130 or something, right? So it should be fine for you. Oh. I don't even know where they spawn. B. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be fighting like that. 16%, really? Kinda sucked, but alright. Well, it depends on our moods. On our best days, we spend the whole day in a call with each other and we talk a lot. I try to make sure we hear each other's voice every bit. Sometimes difficulty, um, depression hits us hard. Then it gets difficult, but I guess I might be able to think the situation. I think one of the most important things... Here's the thing. Talking with each other is very important. But you also have to understand that your partner, they have their life, right? Like, they have their life. Like, sometimes there's days where I barely talk with Dick because I spend the whole day in fucking university. I get home late, he also gets home late, so we just talk a little bit and then go to bed. But y you have to be able to handle that. If you're not able to handle that, you're just not going to be able to handle a long-distance relationship without making it toxic. Because you, you can definitely, like, keep pushing your partner to, to be more present, but here's the thing, sometimes they can't be more present because they have all the things they need to do in their lives, so if you start pushing them too much in that sense, it, it can become kind of toxic, you know, in the sense that like... 
they need to handle their own real life stuff and you're kind of making it difficult for them and it gets kind of toxic in that sense so you you have to understand that you have to be patient with that and stuff like You have to understand, sometimes they're just gonna be busy. Sometimes they're just gonna go out with their friends in real life, which is also very important. And you just, you need to learn that that's just part of it. Like, you shouldn't get mad or anything because of that. You shouldn't try to pressure them to spend more time with you or something like that, you know? Just enjoy the time you have together. Spend as much of it as you can. But don't, don't push each other to, like, sacrifice your real life. For not saying that the relationship is in real life, but you know what I mean. Don't make them sacrifice the the like, you know, their social life and their responsibilities and stuff to be with you, because that can get like very annoying on the receiving end. <laughs> Even when the person really likes you, it, it just it just gets annoying to be like pressured you know even when you want because here's the thing a lot of the time i want to spend time with dick but a lot of the times they can't a lot of the times i have to study a lot of the times like i have to go out with my friends you know sometimes you know that sort of stuff so just like keep that in mind don't 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 like pressure your your partner too much for that but do try to spend as much of of, of your time that you can together like play hey, games you can together. avoid it. It's not even worth fighting the other people. Just fight the fairy. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean that's what I'm doing right now. The fairies, just, like, are, running. the fairies are definitely the best. But here's the thing: I can't. Like, if I mob the enemies, I'm fucked. So I, I try to always just fight one by one. Oh fuck! God damn it! I made a terrible mistake. Also, I do gain exp from everybody here, so I'm leveling up. You might not be, but I am. Right, I'm just running around and I'm using my single target attack on the fairies and then like running away. I mean, that does sound pretty good. <laughs> I already have 13 roses though on me right now on this second. Like, I don't know how many I have because I'm, I'm running away from all the enemies. I keep... uh, like people. this place is no joke. You can make so much money here. It's insane. I am running out of acid bottles though. Only have 30. <laughs> Oof. I really wish they would sell those on an NPC, but I guess that would be too OP. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't want to go farm acid bottles though. That's a bit annoying. I just want to become a fucking genetic so I have the fucking cart cannon or whatever it's called. Your your friend is just sitting over here. Yeah, he's just weird. His AI is like really, really weird. Well, he is like a retarded chicken. So I mean, yeah, with I the guess. juice. Like, I haven't been on that side of the map for the past, like, half an hour, but... <laughs> Crazy. He's over left. Oh, she cancelled my fucking acid throw. <clears throat> but, dude, this place is ridiculous. You make so much money. How many, how many, uh, roses do I have? I have 12. I have 22! <laughs> Like, I, I made a million just from like spending five seconds here. That's insane. And I'm leveling up, which is the most important part, so. Pretty happy about that. I don't think Baba Yegas or the other thing even give you anything important at all. I, I think they give some stuff, because there's all the stuff here that's valuable. That's the mirror. The crystal mirror is valuable. I don't know what enemies drop that, though. Let me see here. Doesn't seem like the 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 other dudes do the oozers. Let me see the Baba Yaga. The Baba Yaga drop the scroll. The scroll gives some money. They drop scrolls and they drop cake, which also gives some money. So they're not that bad. They're not as good as the the dryad, of course. The dryad is like absolutely broken, but they're not bad. All right, I'm gonna go to Proterra real quick to sell this shit. I'm almost level seventy, Dick. I'm almost there. Almost a geneticist. Then we can match. Yes, then I'll, I'll change my outfits to match yours. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> they were right outside of my AOE room. <laughs> Just failed the attack. That's a beast. Oh my god, that was so frustrating. I just wasted the attack. 
Fuck it, I, fuck it, I guess. What the hell are the pellets? I guess they're worth nothing, huh? I need to, like, actually go give them a hug for the uh, range. It's really funny, I don't know. Remember to save the eggs. Yeah, I haven't sold anything yet. I'm just, like I told you, I told you my plan. I'm just running around and uh, sniping those guys. I made a million and two hundred thousand in a single run on the dungeon. You went and sold everything or Yeah. Dude, that, that, that place is insane. Like, holy shit. There's probably better better places to farm once you get I higher mean, level. I mean, yeah, definitely, but I'm kind of stuck on 99 for, no, for nine, 99 for now until I get to job 70, so. I am running low on acid bottles, though, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Oh, I'm over my weight limit. Ah! Go 16. Wait, singing plants? Oh, that's just garbage. I thought it was like to, to get them something. Skill necessity. I don't know. These skills items, I'm just I'm just storing them. This is the ones to get eggs. Storing those two. Oh, blue herb, you wanted that. Let's make some potions. I have so many rocker thingy things. I'm just gonna sell them because I already have one. Trade them on HQ. It's a ghost. I think the ghost stays on the top right of the HQ map. He he buys eggs. Okay, fine. Medicine bow required. All right, let's get thirty empty bottles, thirty medicine bows. Wow, I have two million right now. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm gonna buy the gun I wanted. Just gonna make some potions here. What's everyone doing today? <laughs> it is very annoying making potions. I'm living my lie. best life. Because you have to make like one by one. It is a pain in the butt. But you know what? This is pretty nice. You can save a lot of money here. <laughs> also, the oh, blue I don't have the lower requirements. Oh no! What level do you need? 140. You're almost dead though, right? No, I'm at 126. Oh yeah, you're, you're a bit far. Oh, just save it. Put it on storage. Leek has white potions. I meet the level, uh, the level requirement for the, uh, the AK. I might just buy the AK too. And then I, I mean, both. you are gonna use the AK eventually, so... Starting my gun collection. Alright, I have 30 blue potions if you want some. Also have 50 white potions if you need some. Where are you at? From Terra. Alright, let me take them off the cart actually. Do you want the white as well or just the blue ones? Uh, both? Because the white, they are heavy, so... Did you get my deal? Yes. Here's the blue potions, and here's the white potions. Wait, why did the white potions not? Just give me the blue ones. Oh, it, it exceeds your weight limit. Let me give you 20. There we go. And you figure out your own weight situation. Alright, let me move these. Oh, well, I can just do add storage. Oh, thank you for the herbs, actually. Let me see. Do I... Yes, I do. Let me get some of these. Let's make a few more potions. Okay, let's go. It's such an inspiration for both of us. Hope you keep streaming regularly. I'll try to. The thing is, university is very time consuming, so... Like, I have homework to do for tomorrow, but I'm kind of like just, you know, wasting my time here, I guess. <laughs> Making fucking blue potions. To be fair, I have already studied, so it's not like um, I'm being being a vagabond or anything like that, but you know. Alright, I have 11 more blue potions. Do you want them? No. <laughs> no? Don't fucking take them. I'm not carrying this shit with me. So far, I, I think I didn't ever push her or got mad at her or anything, really. I'm actually thinking more about my side. I try to keep interesting and enjoyable for us. Still, sometimes I wonder if I'm accomplishing that anyway. Thanks for the tips. I think it's like... 
Oh, you rejected my deal, you bloody bastard. Lika, like add storage. It's, it's like I said. No, I have the cot, I don't need storage. It's like I said, it, it is like... At the end of the day, long distance relationships, they, they are difficult. That, that isn't much you can do. Sometimes you, you just like really gonna miss each other and there's nothing you can really do about that. And it really bloody sucks, but you know, you just kind of have to learn to, to deal with it. Homunculus, let's go. I don't know, the homunculus is so fucking stupid. He's not that weak, actually. I've had him, like, attack enemies before. And I was like, wow, that's pretty sweet damage. He's just, like, really stupid. Well, it he's is following a... me now. Kill this one. Kill that girl. And let's try to get the homunculus on this guy. Alright, he's attacking. At four. See, he deals, like, a thousand with his special attack. But it's also, like, extremely difficult to use. For no reason, just because he's dumb. So, I mean, he did die. I should resurrect him, but let me kill these guys. Oh, I forgot to, to pick up some baths from Terra. All right, um, F7. There he comes. Let's go, friend. But for now, I'm not worrying too much about him. I'm just hanging around with him, you know, so he levels up. Once he gets to loyal, um, loyal loyalty, I'll, I'll worry about making him work. But for now, I'm just like, just hang around, you know, just so your, your, your loyalty levels up. You don't need to do anything, you just like a cute pet, I guess. But one day, he's gonna be very strong, I, I know that. I hope. Is he still gonna look like a retarded chicken? No, he becomes like a giant retarded chicken. Oh my god, I just got two rocker eggs in a row. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, I have so many items to capture them. Yeah, I have a ton as well. What am I doing my interface? Stop attacking my friend, holy shit, so rude. Wait, I need to get stronger. Kind of struggling right now, but... We're working on that, I guess. <laughs> Slow process. Job 66. I'm just gonna, like, fly wing, to be honest. There we go. Because their girls are, are the actual valuable enemies. The other people are, like, kind of like whatever, you know? Oh, definitely don't want to stay there. But it's, it's so difficult to find the girls, though. Oh, there's a grave for the MVP. That's pretty cool. We should go kill some MVPs eventually, Dick. That would be fun. There's some lower level MVPs that we can try to fight. Oh my god, there's way too many enemies everywhere. Yeah, that's no joke. Alright, I can handle these. There we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, there's way too many. I gotta go to Cathy over it, but... Alright. I'm probably... Yeah, I'm running out of acid bottles. I have eight. I don't know what I'm gonna do with I run out of acid bottles, to be honest. I guess I, I have to go back and farm more of them. Pretty annoying, but I guess such is life. I, I hear the, yeah, I hear the fairy lady, but I don't, I, I, I'm trying, there we fucking go, alright, let's fly wing, let's keep flying, fly winging, <laughs> I just want to be safe, alright, this is okay, actually, um, never mind, alright, this is fine now, the entrance is like the, the safest place, to be honest, I hear the lady, she's right there, actually, direct, Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going back to Proterra. Oh, actually, I was so close to leveling up. I should have waited. Oh, I did level up. Never mind. 
Where am I going to send about? I, I didn't get, like, anywhere near as much items this time, but, you know. It's okay. Let's make some blue potions. Can't create items yet. Did I really only have three of those? One. That's weird. Alright, let's sell these. Illusion flowers. Sell those. Sell these. Sell those. I don't even care at this point. I have so many items to, to catch those boys. Looking raucous. Sell this shit. Singing plants. Sell that too. And I think that's it. I mean, that was still like almost 300,000, so it's like no joke. This place is like incredible. However, I am running low on acid bottles, so what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go inside here. I'm gonna buy some fly wings and I'm gonna go get some, some immortal hearts so I can make some acid bottles. I really need them. I got like 90 fly wings. No. Ah, you, you sell empty bottles? You do, 300. Huh? I thought they were gonna be cheaper than that. I was hoping. But I guess it's the same price as every other NPC. Because I thought the NPC on the on the vendor harbor just sold empty bottles for like more, for a higher price than the normal. But I, I apparently not. Fair enough. Alright, um... Let's get, like... If I get, like, 50 acid bottles, that should be enough for me. So, let me let me put this stuff back in. I'm not gonna need these things. Where I am going. Let's use the Berserk Potion. And let's warp. Dungeon. Pyramid Basement one. Just gonna farm the dogs here. Cause they drop they drop the I mean I'm gonna kill the minotaurs as well, just because I mean I can kill them so quickly. But the dogs drop the items I need to make the acid bottles. And they also drop white herbs. So by farming the dogs I get items for like both of the potions I need. So is a bit annoying though to farm them, not gonna lie, but it's okay. The drop rate is a hundred percent, so it's not that bad. Did they give me XP? 0.1 percent, and they do give money as well. The accessories they give is like a, a rose ring, which does give you a decent amount of money. I think it's like ten thousand each. It's not, it's not shabby at all. This is the fly wing here. The music here is pretty good. Let me let me increase the volume. Lika, where'd you go? I'm on pyramid. What is this place? One. I am farming for acid bottles. Okay. Where do I find that? Uh, uh, the, the. Do you the remember? The what? Devruchi. Devruchi. Oh, I think it's in Niflheim. I think. Is that a dungeon? Yes. I think it might be a field, actually. One of the two. But I can't get to those dogs, so let's just fly wing. Niffle? Niffle? Yes, Niffle Helm. Nif I think, I don't remember, you remember just... one or two. I, I don't remember, Dick. Look, yeah. the last time I've been in Niffle Helm was like... 10 years ago? I thought you were <laughs> supposed to know things. Just look online. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how many more so hard. 16, you know. I said 50. We're almost there. <laughs> Not quite, but you know. We'll get there. The music for this place is so good though. It slaps. Oh, just, just give me. There we go. I was gonna say, just, just give me some dogs. I actually want to move the fucking flywing to F4 so I can use it easier. 